How can a beginner get started with Bitcoin mining? Interest in cryptocurrencies has skyrocketed among investors, with corporations like PayPal, JP Morgan, and MicroStrategy adopting them and speculation of Bitcoin replacing gold as a hedge. In this video, we will talk about the easiest ways to mine cryptocurrency from home. Get started immediately. What is Bitcoin mining and how does it work? Bitcoin mining is not just the process of putting new Bitcoins into circulation, but it is also an important part of the blockchain ledger's upkeep and development. It's carried out with the assistance of highly advanced computers that answer incredibly difficult computational math problems. Cryptocurrency mining is time-consuming, expensive, and only seldom profitable. Mining, on the other hand, has a magnetic appeal for many cryptocurrency investors because miners are paid with crypto tokens for their efforts. This could be because, like California gold prospectors in 1849, entrepreneurs perceive mining as a gift from above. Why not do that if you are technologically inclined? However, before you put your time and money into mining, read the explanation to discover if it's right for you. We'll concentrate on Bitcoin. We'll use Bitcoin to refer to the network or cryptocurrency as a concept throughout, and Bitcoin to refer to a number of individual tokens. A new gold rush has begun. The idea of getting compensated with Bitcoin is a major draw for many miners. To be clear, you do not need to be a miner to hold Bitcoin tokens. You can buy cryptocurrencies with fiat currency, trade them on an exchange like Bitstamp with another cryptocurrency, for example, Ethereum or NEO to buy Bitcoin. To earn them by shopping, writing blog posts on platforms that pay users in cryptocurrency, or even setting up interest-earning crypto accounts. Steemit is an example of a crypto blog platform, which is similar to Medium that allows users to reward bloggers with Steam, a proprietary cryptocurrency. Steam can then be exchanged for Bitcoin elsewhere. Miners receive a Bitcoin reward as an incentive to help with the primary goal of mining, which is to validate and monitor Bitcoin transactions to ensure their legitimacy. Bitcoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency, meaning it is not regulated by a central authority, such as a single bank or government because these responsibilities are distributed among many users throughout the world. What is Bitcoin mining? Auditor miners are compensated for their efforts. They are in charge of ensuring that Bitcoin transactions are legitimate. Satoshi Nakamoto, the founder of Bitcoin, devised a standard to keep Bitcoin users honest. Miners help to prevent the double spending problem by confirming transactions. A scenario in which a Bitcoin owner spends the same Bitcoin twice is known as double spending. This isn't an issue with actual currency. Once you hand someone a $20 bill to buy a bottle of vodka, you no longer have it. Therefore, there's no risk you'll use it to buy lottery tickets next door. While counterfeit cash is possibility, it is not the same as spending the same dollar twice. There's a possibility that the holder could make a clone of the digital token and give it to a merchant or another party while retaining the original, according to the Investopedia glossary. Now, let's suppose you have one genuine $20 bill and one counterfeit $20 bill. If you try to spend both the actual and phony bills, someone who took the time to look at the serial numbers on both of them would notice that they were the same, indicating that one of them was fake. A Bitcoin miner works in a similar way, checking transactions to ensure that users have not attempted to spend the same Bitcoin twice. This isn't a great analogy, as we'll discuss further down. Miners are eligible to be rewarded with Bitcoins once they have confirmed one megabyte worth of Bitcoin transactions, known as a block. More about the Bitcoin reward below as well. The one megabyte restriction was set by Satoshi Nakamoto and is a source of contention among miners who believe the block size should be expanded to include more data, allowing the Bitcoin network to process and validate transactions faster. Note that a coin miner can earn Bitcoin after verifying one megabyte of transactions. However, not everyone who validates transactions will be paid out. One megabyte transactions can theoretically be as little as one, though this is extremely rare, or as much as several thousand. It's developed on the amount of data consumed by the transactions. So even after all that work of confirming transactions, I might not get any Bitcoin in return. Yes, you are accurate. During Bitcoins, you must fulfill two requirements. One is a result of work, while the other is a result of chance. You must verify around one megabyte of transactions. This is the most straightforward phase, and you must be the first miner to solve a numerical issue correctly, or as close to correctly as possible. Proof of work is another name for this procedure. What exactly do you mean when you say the correct answer to a numeric problem? The good news is that there is no advanced math or computational required. You might think that miners solve challenging mathematical problems, but that isn't the case. They're attempting to be the first miner to generate a 64-digit hexadecimal number, a hash, that is either less than or equal to the goal hash. It's essentially a guessing game. 
The bad news is that it's guesswork, but with the total amount of viable estimates for each of these problems in the trillions, is tremendously taxing. Miners require a lot of computational power to solve an issue initially. You'll need a high hash rate to mine successfully, which is measured in mega hashes per second, giga hashes per second, and tera hashes per second. There are a lot of hashes here. Crypto Compare provides a useful computer for estimating how much Bitcoin you could mine with your mining rig's hash rate. Bitcoin Mining and Circulation Mining is another important purpose besides filling miners' pockets and supporting the Bitcoin ecosystem. It is the only way to release fresh Bitcoin in the circulation. To put it another way, miners are essentially minting currency. For example, there were around 18.5 million Bitcoins in circulation as of November 2020. Aside from the coins generated via the Genesis block, the first block, which was created by Satoshi Nakamoto, miners are responsible for the creation of every single Bitcoin. Bitcoin as a network would continue to exist and be useful in the absence of miners. But no new Bitcoin would ever be created. Bitcoin mining will come to an end at some point. According to the Bitcoin protocol, the total amount of Bitcoins will be capped at 21 million. However, because the rate at which Bitcoins are mined decreases over time, the final Bitcoin will not be circulated until around 2140. This isn't to say that transactions won't be confirmed to maintain the integrity of Bitcoin's network. Miners will continue to validate transactions and will be compensated for their efforts. Aside from the short-term Bitcoin return, coin mining can provide you with vote power when improvements to the Bitcoin network protocol are suggested. In other words, miners have some say in how decisions about forking are made. How much does a miner make? Every four years, the rewards for Bitcoin mining are halved. One block of Bitcoin was worth 50 Bitcoin when it was initially mined in 2009. That was reduced to 25 Bitcoin in 2012. By 2016, it had been cut in half again to 12.5. The prize was reduced again on May 11, 2020 to 6.25. In November of 2020, the price of Bitcoin was around 17900 per Bitcoin, which meant that completing a block would yield you $111,875. It may not appear to be a bad incentive to solve that complicated hash problem describing above. You can check the Bitcoin clock, which updates this information in real time to keep track of when these halvings will occur. Interestingly, the market price of Bitcoin has tended to correlate closely with the reduction of new coins entering circulation over its history. Because of the decreased inflation rate, scarcity has grown and prices have risen in response. If you're curious about how many blocks have been mined so far, various websites including blockchain.info will provide you with that information in real time. Is there anything I need to mine bitcoins? Individuals may have been able to compete for blocks using a typical at-home computer early on in bitcoins development, but ah, this is no longer the case. This is because the difficulty of mining bitcoin fluctuates over time. All of this means that miners must now invest in advanced computer equipment such as a GPU, graphic processing unit, or more realistically, an application-specific integrated circuit in order to mine competitively, an ASIC. These can cost anywhere from $500 to tens of thousands of dollars. Individual graphic cards, GPUs, are purchased by some miners, particularly Ethereum miners, as a low-cost approach to put together mining operations. And that is all for today's guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.